the 11th. I have woken up with a major headache, which was probably due to us, well, me cleaning out this room last night, then downloading my Sims 4 into my computer, and let's just say it was 5.30 by the time we looked at What are y'all doing? It does not look like y'all doing something innocent to all stare as soon as mommy comes to the door. Thumper was here too, but Thumper ran. What are we looking at? Yes, I'm a mess because I've been crying. Spent 45 minutes trying to get past the computer to FedEx. I've already sent pictures. Couldn't send a video because it just won't allow me to. So I'm going to put the video in my video here. <sighs> to Perfect Keto. So, if you saw my other video, you heard me complaining and upset because FedEx came and didn't leave anything. And I called them and they accused me of stealing it because they were left at my front door. My dad just happened to go to a abandoned shed that looks like Quarterville. Not going to lie, Toll Horrorville, you're going to see that he has not been near in a long time. At the back of the property. Okay, this means they walk past two houses, carports, doors, cars, everything, everywhere you could have left it, including other sheds. And left it at an abandoned door of a shed. It has poured rain and the heat for three days. You'll see, you'll see. I'm about to show y'all. You wanna talk about pissed, angry, upset. This stuff is not cheap, not cheap. I, I want a job so desperately bad, but I have no friends for references. You have to have three friends that live near you, that know you, blah, blah, blah. They have to be legit as references. Um, I don't have work out of the house references anymore for years now, cause I was stay at home mommy and I've done side jobs at home so I can't get a job. But people this stupid, this stupid, and yes, it is stupid, people. It is stupid because you just walk past tons of cars, two houses, four multiple doors, porches, even a big giant shed. You walk past all this to put it in the woods in an abandoned shed. Were they wanting to spy on us? Look at the whole entire property? Why, why? Yes, that is stupid. That is not an intelligent person. And why can people like that get jobs? Like, I don't even know. Don't even know. Don't even know, people. That's how, that's, I'm so angry right now. So let me show you all the video. Bullshit. Two days later, I find the packages at abandoned shed in our yard. Our house is way over there. What the hell? So I'm going to try to calm it down from that hit. Here, see? And I'm going to cook me some dinner. It's totally not my day, people. I totally forgot I was cooking. Completely slipped my mind. <laughs> so, I might be able to Which, if it is, I won't judge it by it. Didn't even flip it like I was planning on it. So, yes, I know. Normally, we need to let our meat rest. I know, but we're not going to. I just, I want to see if I'm cooked. Yep, I totally did. But I can eat it. But it's so overcooked for me. Now I gotta figure out what to do with it. I want to eat it with a salad. Um, don't know what I have for salad. Do I just want to eat it by itself? Surprisingly, it's not weird. I always thought it would be really nasty. I mean, it is overcooked, but I really can't tell I froze it. I'm gonna have to go buy me a bunch of steak and freeze it. Just saying. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for about five, 10 minutes, then finish slicing it, and we'll see what I'm gonna make with it. Okay, we're going extremely simple. So I'm trying to spin this butter from Aldi's. I think it's Aldi's that I got it from. Because for me to buy Kerrygold butter, 
I have to drive an hour and something away to Costco just for butter. So we're trying. Like I said, if you saw me in my other video, that to me it tastes like Land of Lakes butter, not Kerry Gold. Um, that is the difference that I can tell the taste. It's more of a cream milk taste, like it's just totally different. So we are going to fry up some eggs. And fry up some cheese. Okay. I'll be honest, this is not even what I want to eat. I have had a very emotional day. I just want junk food. And I think a stuffler later, the Snicker Eagle one might be in my future. Not even gonna lie. Okay. I am very, very still emotionally wrecked. My sister and I'm crying going back home today, so, you know, that's emotional. Um, the whole stress with the whole FedEx thing and not understanding why they were on the back of the property like that. It's just really weird. Um, it's kind of creepy. The only thing back there is our swimming pool where we were swimming. Um, but there's no way we could have seen them from that location, but they could have seen us, so it's, it's just weird. Um, like, strange weird. So, let me get these eggs into this bowl. That time of the month, I think, is coming because I'm an extremely emotional wreck. Like, that's what happens to me. About three, four days before, I cry over everything. I shake. I'm just very irritable, very upset. Yeah. And I know I'm talking about if you're a woman. I'm sure there's plenty of women that go through the same thing. I hear a lot of women like, what are you talking about? And, well, aren't you lucky? Aren't you lucky that you have no clue? All right, let me make sure this is still on date. I have cooked it before when it wasn't. It was gross. Yes. Kind of smelled funky, so I was making sure. Oh, that's probably way too much, but that's okay. Oh, no. Funky, funky. funky. It was perfectly clean. I just cleaned it. It's just black glass stove. stoves never look clean. Ever. I swear. Only when you first scrub it with this special stuff, but you don't want to do that every day. That's really harsh chemicals. I'm just going to slice up the steak. I like my cheese to burn, like literally black. I'm not even bother with flipping that. My all-time favorite when I'm just cooking for myself. Yeah, they really need to get some more of this stuff in stock. You know what? I forgot I turned the eye off. No wonder it's taking so long to cook.
don't get me wrong, this breakfast food is going to be very yummy. Um, but that time of the month's coming or an emotional wreck. All I want is sugar. Anything sweet. It doesn't have to be real sugar. Just has, has a sweet taste to it. And calms me down. Like keto chow ice cream, but I haven't made it in a while. No matter what concoction I come up with for these stuffers, the Snickerdoodle one is my favorite. Probably because I love Snickerdoodle so much. It is my favorite cookie. It is hands down my all time favorite so far. This cheese needs to way faster. Oh, it's taking too long for me. So to keep my nerves nice and calm, I have been, um, hmm, I wonder, I've been sitting there playing Sims today. It's an all new game starting from scratch, Sims 4, because it's on my original computer that broke, but, and I could go on there and pull it off. I think I actually have it on a stone hard drive already. But the problem is, um, it was so complicated in so many families and so many buildings and everything I made that it would lag so bad when I logged in because, you know, since, it's been, since 4 has been around, what, 6, 7, 8 years. I don't know, since the day it started, uh, I got in built. I took down almost every pre existing home and building and did them for the in every zone. Every zone but the newest two. Um, so I'm starting from scratch. Completely new. New characters. New everything. Because it kind of got stressful playing that one. And I play games to keep my nerves down. Alright. We'll see how long it takes to cook this. It is going so slow. Okay, I really hope this is as good as when I used the Kerrygold butter with this because it is so yummy with the Kerrygold butter. Basically, it is just um, queso cheese fried in Kerrygold butter. Starting to turn, as you can see. Starting to get there. And I am going to weigh this out. I mean, guys, I'm really careful with cheese because it upsets my stomach. Because it does look like a lot of cheese here. Not even going to lie. Ow! That was hot. Let's see, I think I can turn the pan off now. The oven was burning. Well, smoking from the... Me forgetting about the steak. <clears throat> it sure only took a few seconds to cook the steak. Literally like three, four minutes. And I just got sidetracked. My mind just went whoosh. Forgot all about it. Oh, yeah. See that? See that beautifulness? That beautiful Irish butter with the queso brown cheese. And I bet when you saw me put it all together, you thought it was going to be one big chunk. Stays in the fries. You just let it keep cooking. Stays in the fry shape. Cook it a little longer. I also got my mustard ready because I want some dip for the steak. It's a little gray, it's a little tough, and, and not as yummy as I would like, but that's just because I cooked it too long. Okay.
Oh, it's not even two ounces. Getting all the burnt ones I like. Oh, you can't even see me. Hold on. Let's see what I got now. Two ounces even. Which is telling me that if I want to do four ounces, that's less than four ounces. There's not that much left in here. So, yeah. I might eat it off. We'll see. This is what I got. And it's 9.30. I know it's super late to be eaten. But I'm going to eat this now. Okay, I did put a tablespoon of Yo Mama sauce with some of my Italian seasoning. And then I added my mustard. And now I'm going to eat. Okay, so today's a new day. It's late the 12th. Um, so I went to my mom's and actually went through the boxes. She took them out of the disgusting, covered in mud, soaking wet boxes. You couldn't even lift the boxes. They just deteriorated. And the two macaroni and cheeses that I saw was completely deteriorated open and all icky. Um, they actually went straight into the trash. And I guess that was a bad idea because I need to send them back. <laughs> but they were so gross and slimy. And anyways, I came over and started going through. Of course, all the collagen is fine. It's in those containers. I shook them to make sure there's still powder. Um, the Nola bar light things, they're fine. They're just melted. Um... What else did I get? So all the other macaroni and cheese, I opened every single box. Every box and poured them into plastic bags, and they were all fine. So in the end, I only lost two boxes. I'm not going through the trouble of digging them out of the trash to send two boxes back um, for a return. I'm just going to respond to the message from Perfect Keto and tell them that I'll just eat the money because <laughs> I don't want to go through the headache. I think it's already in the trash anyways, like outside. And on top of it... I don't want to go through the headache. I am so irritated at FedEx that um, I don't want to go through any more stuff. I just don't. And I just went through a door that's locked. That's great. Okay. So, we lock the screen doors sometimes from the inside because of the cats. Um, My keto chow came in today perfectly. It was on UPS. My chow zero order, which... Don't worry, I did not buy candy bars and stuff. I bought some stuff for cookies, like little chips and stuff, and I don't eat those chips like I do the candy bars. And I got my mom the cookie butter. She loves it. it tastes like wedding cookies to her too. So, um, hold on. So that's what came in the mail today. I'm gonna show y'all what I've eaten so far today. Let me go ahead and show you real fast. And I'm going to tell you that I have steak, but I don't have steak. I end up getting a baked piece of chicken. The steak tasted horrible and I only ate what you saw. I did not finish the salad and I did not eat the fish. It tasted bad. So here we go. It's four o'clock. We are out. So we went to go and crawl. I have made me a little salad with some grilled fish and hopefully the steak and stuff will be made soon because that's what I really want. And the plates aren't huge, so. And bought a new rug today, and they think I bought it for them. They're investigating. I just wanted some color in our YouTube room. It matches, in my opinion, with everything that's in here. But yeah, do you think it's theirs? So at the buffet, I was not liking the food choices I had. I like Bourbon Street chicken. I normally like their baked fish. Um, other things I normally can get, they did not have. The steak was horrible today. So for a moment, and they didn't have stuffing, so that's a good thing. Um, because I had a weak moment where I was thinking, why not just go get things, right? For a moment. Because I'm craving sugar, so... A snickerdoodle waffle will be in our nightly thing probably um but I didn't I looked all around all around me everyone coughing everyone sickly looking everyone extremely overweight I only ate the one plate didn't even go back and get more salad even though I hadn't eaten for the day um and I've been having so much issue with my weight because of stress being sick ibuprofen 
for like a year now. I was just like, if I'm this big following keto, like a net carb keto, um, how big would I be if I go up there and eat the macaroni and cheese? If I eat the rolls, if I eat their fudge, which made me want to come home and make keto fudge. I don't know if I have the ingredients, never tried making it before, but I'm going to look. We might make some. <clears throat> um, but it made me think, if I feel this sick, how sick would I feel if I ate carbs? That's how I looked at it. it kept me strong. Which is hard today because my lungs feel like complete sandpaper. Complete sandpaper. Everyone is sick. The cashiers, the everyone. Anyone we went in contact with today. Everyone. Everyone shopping. Everyone has horrible cough. Every single person here. We did not pass one person from the gas station to any of the grocery stores to the restaurant to Ross's. Anywhere we went, everyone was coughing. At first I felt bad being out in public in case there's something more. But everyone's sick. Every single person sneezing, coughing, red eyes, having trouble breathing, everyone blaming it on the weather. So, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. But I do feel like sandpaper. But the um, heat advisory is really bad for breathing and stuff right now too. Hold on, these are more than me, okay? This is cuter than looking at me today, playing with my hair, because I can't get comfortable. My neck's hurt. I just <clears throat> I cannot get comfortable the last couple of days. Still desperately trying to find people to adopt the kittens. Until then, I'm trying not to stress out. Trying to show them love. But there is something weird going on. They are literally, with the biting me in the middle of the night on my legs everywhere but no one else just me and I'm the one that takes care of them I do not understand maybe I'm snoring really bad last night bear which is underneath that table who is not normally a biter at all bit a chunk of my calf out last night okay like and tried to shove my whole toe in her mouth multiple times during the night so maybe my or it's either the snoring or I have restless leg syndrome and maybe my legs are moving around so much she thinks it's a snake I don't know but she lost it and I got a little injury okay yeah I have multiple injuries from last night um I'm not the person who's gonna go smack them they have no clue like I don't know why they're right she bit me and she has no clue when you go and get onto her why she's in trouble um, and like I said, my leg could look like a snake for all I know in my sleep. Now she's hiding. Piper, you know daddy will find you in that chair and I will be in trouble because you are not allowed in his chairs. Willow? Even Sharky, Willow, Piper, they all were biting my legs last night. And my three big babies never bite. Never, ever, ever. Even when they were babies. So, I don't know what's going on. Willow, you want to say hi? Willow. Hi, pretty baby who don't let me touch her. Oh, I'm sorry, Thumpery. Oh, well, how am I going to record you? He tried to grab the camera and then ran and hid. Want to say hi? Want to show people how cute you are? Yeah. Maybe someone will want you. Don't get me wrong, Mommy wants you, but I can't have all y'all. Bear. Y'all, this is just four of them. There's four more at the other end of the house asleep. Okay, it is 3 p.m. I am having my first meal of the day. It is about one, two, three, four, five, six. I think about six slices of low sodium bacon. I'm going to put some Himalayan salt. Once I get all this grease off, me and grease do not settle on my stomach. People asked before, well, why do you eat low sodium bacon just to add sodium? Easy. The sodium in there is shit sodium. I mean, they use that nasty table salt, the crappiest stuff you can come across, unless you're lucky and you get boar's head, which costs too much. Some of theirs have Himalayan. So I just add me some Himalayan pink salt, or sometimes I add the chef blend, which is pretty yummy in the morning. 
So I'm having my first collagen coffee and that I woke up with a major headache because we have a horrible storm. So this is me just taking a long time today. I got a bunch of crap done in the house before even drinking coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah. First of all, I had the Snickerdoodle stuffed waffle last night that I forgot to show y'all. I wasn't going to show you. Didn't forget. It blew up. Like, all the gooeyness in the middle that I barely put in there just shot out the side. Made a huge, huge mess everywhere. Crap, hold on. Went in there for my sirloin roast. Mary closed the butcher for the night so I couldn't get it cut and they didn't have any out and won't be pulling it out until tomorrow. That is the only reason I came up here tonight. Really, other than my French, which was a bust. So I'm getting it into my mom's Fair Life protein drink, the chocolate one. Um, I went to BJ's and bought her a lot. If you're looking to buy them, they're cheapest right now. But BJ's, if you have a BJ's, they're cheaper than Sam's, Costco. Um, <clears throat> so it is 7:30, and I'm hungry. All I've had is two coffees today: one collagen, one normal iced coffee, um, meaning nothing in it. So, right now, this is going to be my temporary dinner until I get home. I thought I have enough, enough ice in here, but I don't know. It's still hot. But, yeah. And it is pouring rain again. So, I want to drive super slow. So, I do have a steak to cook tonight that I defrosted yesterday. But, I wanted to get a bunch of grapes. No. Definitely not enough ice, but maybe I'll pull off some. I wanted to get some in the freeze. I wanted to make hamburger meat with it. It's desperately bad. I really love the hamburger meat. So it is what it is. It is what it is. And I was good. I was going to buy a bag of Quest chips. They sell them here really good price. Like, you know, a box of them. And when I was at Walmart today, I was going to grab an actual bag for $1.99. I was thinking I'd grab it a Quest peanut butter cup, something, because I'm hungry. I am hungry, y'all. But, oh wait, no. You've gone all day just having liquid. you peed a billion times. Um, let's just allow these things to continue to process out your body, especially since you just, you're getting over the C word. Let's just let all process out and just do liquid. Yes, this has milk, that's strong. Um, which can raise people's blood sugar. I don't know if it does mine or not, but mine have been elevated for a long time now. So, it can't hurt me in my opinion because I'm going to go home and have steak, bacon, eggs, things like that. I will show you what I have for dinner. Um, no salad stuff. I didn't buy, I don't think I have any salad stuff left. I don't know, maybe a little. Um, but I'm, I'm not in the mood for a salad for a change. Probably because my favorite salads have sandwich meat in it. And I'm out of sandwich meat and I am not buying more for at least a month. That is my biggest rule right now because, and no can or any kind of diet, zeros, anything like that, um, sodas. Not even my CDS because they give me really bad heartburn. Um, Canned soda, no matter what kind, gives me severe heartburn. I noticed I could go get Mountain Dew Diet, not zero, but Diet, at the Fountain Dreams and drink them all day long with no heartburn, no issue with them. And the Diet one did not seem to affect my blood sugar, but the zeros do. I don't know why. I've never done a controlled, like, actual test. I just noticed that my sugars run higher if I drink zeros. Um, and I've never seen a zero in cut myself and I didn't even realize it. I wonder why I cut myself on. Okay, slice my finger. Um, probably on the bucket. I bought this really big bucket in the back. You can see the lid. One of those huge storage type ones. Gigantic. Um, for like $20. $20. Now, for my cat litter boxes, I have paid $40 a piece, $50, $60 a piece. I have three different ones and they are just not cutting it in my opinion. See, Piper refused to use a normal litter box when the kittens were little and she would end up scratching the wall instead of the actual inside the litter. 
So I've had to go and put these foam boards that I can throw away after they've been scratched to death or have anything on it around the litter boxes. They're very deep litter boxes. This is the deepest you can buy. At least I've never found them any bigger. Um, so the kittens are all doing that. They think you're supposed to grab hold of that board. And it's just not enough space. And I'm really sick of having three litter boxes because one has to be in the living room. It will not fit in the bathroom. So, I am taking this big container. I'm not going to put the lid on it because they'll be scared. Um, I'm taking this big giant container and I'm cutting a little loop just so they know this is where you go now because they could just jump over the side but I, I have crazy cats. A tiny loop because this container should take the whole space up and I should be down to one big giant litter box which is fine because I have to go clean all three in different locations four times a day. Um, this will be one big litter box and there's ridiculous eight cats who wants to get in the litter box and use it as I'm cleaning it every every time so now they can do that over in that corner while I'm cleaning this corner I think it's gonna make my life way easier and it's not gonna use any more litter than the other boxes did because when the other boxes are so big they take four 20 pound boxes almost per litter box and then the one only takes um, 40 pounds total so, yeah, I'm trying to make my life easier and cleaner because they jump back and forth from litter box to litter box and get litter everywhere as they're playing. Like, which one do I want to use? Well, haha, -ha, jokes on you kitties. You don't get a choice no more because it's just going to be one big one. My eyes melted, but it did not cool it that off. But it's okay. I'm going to drink it because, like I said, I am hungry and I don't want to do a boo-boo. Like, normally I'd be like, oh, so big, I won't go grab a bag of Quest chips or something or get something from a drive-thru and make it keto. Um, that's how I've been lately. But, y'all, it is 7.20. I've peed so many times. It means I'm cleaning out my system. I'm getting some water weight off. So I don't want to go put it back on. And I don't know if this will put any of the water weight back on. But it is a liquid. And usually liquid, no matter what the ingredients. I mean, I'm talking about even diet. So it makes me pee even more. Um, so this one shouldn't have gotten me in with that stupid milk that's strong one. Um, with that being said, I am on my way home to actually cook some real food when I get there. But it will be a while, like 45 minutes or so. Maybe longer, because the roads are pretty flooded. I don't know if y'all can hear that. I'm shooting out water left and right. So I'm going to stop talking, concentrate on the road, and I'll see you when it's running out of time. Okay, so I made like this huge, huge mess. Still tasty, yummy and stuff, but I've had issues the last two times making it. <coughs> and I'm using only the one third cup <coughs> and barely putting anything in the middle. But shooting out the sides. So I don't know. I gotta figure that crap out. Um, I also had the rest of the steak that I cooked uh, the day or two before. I ate that um, and that was it. Um, ooh, ooh. So we haven't really went anywhere since like the 1st of July. I've gone and done one or two things here and there. Sorry, the 14th. So I have tons of errands I have to go do. Still not feeling my best, but you know, I got sick on, what was it, the 5th or something or 4th when it hit me hard for 12 hours and then I was this way now, like I have a horrible sinus infection and everything going on. Um, which means, according to the government, I'm completely clear and I can go do these errands and not feel bad because I only have to wait 5 days. Well, it's been on 14 since day 1. Because my daughter will be staying home for at least a week because she's desperately ill. Um, she's been sick this whole entire time, the whole time, very sick, and she finally wanted to go to the doctor. You know, teenagers, you have to wait until they want to go to the doctor. And I have to 
pick up tons of meds for her today. Special call drugs, antibiotics, all kind of stuff because she tested positive for the C word. Yes, that means we all had it again. Again, we all had it again. How many times can one person have it? According to my records now, I've had it a total of six times. The time in 2020 when I literally thought I was dying and praying to Jesus not to let me die. I had COVID during that time and I didn't even know it because there was no doctor's offices to go get tested. But every single symptom, everything I had, they went ahead and put it that I had COVID because, yeah. And then, oh my gosh, how many times? How many times does someone have it? That means we all have it. All of us. Six people fully, completely jabbed proof. They have it. Me, I'm the one who has long haul COVID and I'm the one who only got put down for 12 hours, literally. I had some body pain and a tiny fever for 12 hours. And that's the moment I said, well, we're eating bacon again. Okay, we're eating tons of eggs. We're eating fats. We are loading up on the fat, all right? Um, and that's what I did. And then it went away other than like a sinus cold, which I get every single summer. So I don't know if the two are the same thing. Um, so I am some ibuprofen because and tons of clarity because of the sinus issue is really painful. Um, so yeah, that's how my morning's gone. The ring, 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 because my mom took her and it's like, uh, she's ate up with COVID and they think I have COVID and pneumonia. So my mom's got to go to her doctor now. <sighs> so in conclusions to me, it's a virus people are going to keep getting no matter what. It's not like we have a measle jabby thing, right? Because that works, right? Um, like, <laughs> whether you get three, four, or five of these or you don't get it, you're still going to get it. You're still going to spread it. I don't understand. I just, it doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't. Like, I do not understand. Um, so... in this town you then I might as well assume all these people walking around with these summer colds coughing and sneezing and, and everything because I sneezed like crazy and that was not a symptom um all these things going on right now hacking in a choking even on my sister's plane she was on everyone was hacking in a choking but can we just assume everyone in the world now is walking around with it or something because now we can't have a cold, a summer cold. It just doesn't exist, does it? No, you go into the doctor and you test positive immediately. What? Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> Anyways, so I have been under the weather. That's why the videos have not been that great the last, I don't know how many days. I kind of lost track. Um, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Well, this, this C word hit me way less because I was out in the rain pulling weeds and doing yard work with it. Oh, hold on. No clue where I was. No clue on what I was talking about. It was my daughter's um, doctor's office because for some reason, the pharmacy is saying she's allergic to the one med she's not allergic to, so she had to call and confirm that she's not allergic to it. <coughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I should have known better. My taste buds changed again. Can't smell anything. I thought it was because I'm all stopped up. And my taste buds changed. I am in love with bacon again. I love the taste of bacon. Um, I love the taste of... Now I wonder, can I have chicken? Right? Because I hated the taste of chicken. So now I'm going to have to see if I can eat chicken. And no, I have not done that resistance start experiment I was going to do because... My blood sugars have been too high every morning. I should have known. I should have known something was wrong because my my blood sugars are never this high. My blood sugars are shooting in the 160s, 170s, 180s, just eating normal keto type food or not eating at all. Um, this happened the last time I got the C word. My blood sugars and blood pressure was sky high. My heart palpitations came back too, and I just thought it was from eating the. Um, net carb keto instead of total but I've been back to total eating just meats and eggs and, and keto chow and it is still up there so I don't know I don't know people <laughs> I don't know <laughs> because this is why because I kept saying
thinking to myself, why do I not have energy right now? Why, why can't I do the things I need to do to lose this weight? Why can't I go for my walks? Why is it killing me to walk? Why is my, like, I just thought it was the long haul COVID because it causes so much pain in me permanently. I mean, I haven't even wanted to get on a raft in the swimming pool. Right? I don't want to leave the AC of the house. I have no energy. I am not sick like everyone else. Everyone else sounds like they have pneumonia. Um, I just drain. So, so, so drain. And I don't know what the answer is because we all wore this thing. We all completely stayed away, locked up, and we still ended up with it multiple times. It's just, uh, my daughter was so excited last night, and I pray she feels better by the time it comes around at the end of the month. Um, there is a Comet Galaxy Con convention thing that she wants to go to in Raleigh that I'm taking her to. Um, so, yeah. And then there's this art festival on the 23rd I'm supposed to be taking her to. So I hope she feels better, because technically she's already had it 14 plus days, too. Everyone got it in the end of June. It's just, it's lingering in them and making it worse. So, it's turning into other things. Hoodie and today got my first collagen coffee. It's 2 p.m. because I did not realize it was the 14th. And I have paperwork that is due in by the 15th um, that I have to go turn in the day. So, I have to go two towns over. Um, have to find some cat food, have to pick up my daughter's meds when they are finished, have to find this special cough um, drop my the daughter's doctor said use. It's cold E U Z Z E or something. Um, it has zinc in it, but it is rare to find. Uh, can you find it? CVS, they don't carry it. Walgreens supposedly carries it, but now I gotta find a Walgreens because it's mostly CVS's. Walmart supposedly has it, but every time they say they have something, I go in there and they don't have it. Plus, I need cat food. I don't know if I told y'all because there are so many areas in this video, and I could stop and make a separate video and then add it if I didn't tell you. But I'm going to just tell you again if I already told you. Perfect Keto is an amazing company. Let me tell you. Because it wasn't their fault that FedEx was stupid and left my packages in an abandoned shed. And what I mean, it looks like Porterville. I would have been scared to walk through that area if I did not live here. So what the heck were they doing? Why? Why? There was two houses, six doors, a carport, cars, table in front of the house where you could lock the baggage because that's what we do there. Tons of chairs. But anyways, it was better as well. Not their fault. And only two boxes actually got destroyed of the mac and cheese. Um, I opened them all up, and the other ones, it didn't look like any water damage to any of the noodles or the pack of the cheeses. Of course, the collagen is fine, and those Nola bars that I had bought, it's okay. It's just melted to death. I'm perfectly fine with melted chocolate. Um, it was a free item anyways. It was one of, like, when you buy a certain amount of things, you get a big discount, plus you get a free item. So, I told him forget it. Don't send me nothing. It's fine. Um, I already had an emotional breakdown over it. I already got too stressed over it. I don't want to send these boxes back. I just threw them in the trash. It is perfectly fine. No, I got a tracking label. Seating for free. They're sending me nine new boxes of American cheese. That's what I originally bought. I was crying. Again. But I have to cry. <laughs> So, because I was going through that time of the month during all this, and we all know I get extremely emotional, like insanely emotional. And yes, it pisses me off when people don't have any intelligence, because that's not intelligent to me, that they have this well-paying job, but it's people, drivers make a lot of money, like they make decent, all right? Um, but I can't even go get hired on at a gas station because I can't finish filling out the application because it's online and it won't let me go any farther because there are areas on there I don't have any information to put in there. I try to put in a no. Try to explain it though. No, no. Okay, I've done their personality tests before and I've passed with flying colors. I don't know if they still do personality tests, but they used to. You had to pass this personality test to see if you could work there. I have passed it with flying colors multiple times, but nobody wants to hire 
count them. And if you ain't got friends, they don't believe you. Or you're hiding something. Or maybe you're not outgoing enough to work here. I wish I could talk to a real person, but they do not do that. Because I could run that cash register in my sleep. I could stock new shelves in my sleep. driving and I can just ramble when I drive I just ramble 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 so I'm going to shut up now well, they had these yard fold-up chairs you take to like picnics or fireworks or something the beach you know those fold-up chairs that can hold to 400 pounds that's a big deal when it comes to my dad they're normally very expensive for ten dollars a piece y'all if I did not just buy 17 of them I know that sounds crazy, but my parents wanted 12 of them and I wanted five around the fire pit. Might not be the design I wanted for my chairs around the fire pit this fall, but guess what? $50 for five chairs. It was gonna cost me $50 a chair. That's why I haven't bought them yet. Who cares? Who cares if it's not my theme? If it's not gonna match, we'll work on that one day in the future, but now we got some chairs for the fire pit. My dad likes to go for walks with big yard, but he has to stop all the time and sit. His back gives out on him. Um, he's been on stories for over a year now, so it's put on more weight. So he doesn't make it far. So he's going to stack his around the yard so he can still do his walks and sit down when he needs to. I think that's a great idea. It's better than not being able to walk at all. Just line the yard up with some chairs everywhere. And when you need a break, take your break. Anyways, I'm still my first college and coffee. It's 4 p.m. Haven't eaten. And I still got to go to Sam's after I take this load home because there's no way anything else can fit in here. Just saying. Now, my day just keeps getting crazier. So, I have to pee so I go to BJ's. Get some things there. Load everything in my front seat that I can because I still got to put a big fridge back here. Whew. So, then I go Best Buy. Sitting out there like 34 minutes waiting for my item to come out. It finally comes. Guy looks at me. First of all, I'm freaking out silently. Tell myself, I'm sure it's perfectly fine because the box is all beat up. I mean, completely shredded all around it. 
and he comes over and says, I can't put this in your vehicle. Why? Are you worried the box is about to crash open? Because that's what it looked like, right? It looked like it had been open before. Uh, and he says, I'm thinking this in my head. I didn't actually say it. He says, you can't put a mini fridge on its side. Well, I knew you couldn't put real fridges on their side, but I've always put mini fridges on their side. What? But this one is super tall. There's no standing in it up. Even with the truck, the truck has a, a roof you can't take off, so um, there's no standing it up in that either. I'm like, for reals? He's like, yes, you have to return it. Because he can't lift it in there because he can't be responsible for it being put on its side. Now, mind you, there's no way I could have done it. This is a heavy, fast, big mini fridge. So I couldn't even do it. Because other people have done it, they said, but you have to do it yourself. There was no way. Impossible, because I am by myself and it was impossible. So I had to go stand in line for another 15, 20 minutes and return the stupid thing. So over an hour of my day was taken up of um, nothingness nothingness. That's the kind of day I'm having. Now, there is this $200 fire pit at BJ's on sale right now for $39. It's not shaped the way I want it, though. And I am debating about getting it. Okay. And I couldn't go in and pick up a smaller mini fridge or something else at Best Buy because I was using my rewards and it takes two weeks for the rewards to get back on the card. So... And I still have to find something to buy because after the 13th, which I think is totally stupid, if you spend this kind of money, you should not lose your rewards. But after the 13th, I lose my rewards. So I have to spend it of August. So, yeah. Why well, didn't I have it shipped to me? Because they charge $40 shipping for a mini fridge. Yeah, that's that, that. My day. My day keeps going and going and going yeah <sighs> so I'm being extra careful because I also got rained on by being extra careful because the roads are really slip and people are driving like idiots and I still gotta go to Sam's warehouse so I'm being really careful so I'm gonna stop recording now because I don't know the day I'm having I'm a little worried yep it's 10 o'clock my first meal of the day at 10 p.m. I'm having some Sirloin that I cooked in the oven in a cast iron skillet. I gave the other half to Dino and I made him three eggs. I don't feel like eggs. And this is just a tiny bit, like one ounce of um, queso cheese fried up. And I gave him some as well. Um, so I'm going to eat this. If I'm still hungry, I'll let you know. Okay, yes, it's midnight, but we have not been going to bed until 5 a.m. So this is dinner time for me right now. Snickerdoodle Keto Chow. Stuffler. I stuffed it with less than a quarter of an ounce, like really tiny bit because I didn't want it to overflow, and about 10 chopped zero um, white chocolate little chips inside there. Then I took um, one ounce of cream cheese, um, a tiny bit of butter, stirred it all together with monk fruits. Um, I'll show you Le Conti's vanilla sweet drops and that is the sugar inside there so it's basically just cream fat not really any sugar and then i just sprinkled a tiny bit of monk fruit cinnamon on top i will cut it on camera fast if i can one handed it did not explode i made sure not to go over that one third at all i leveled it off and everything this time and i didn't really stuff the inside too terribly much um we'll see Hold on, we need more lighting. I should be using the tripod. All right, and yes, I burned myself again on that stupid iron. Kind of suck at it. Okay, you can see the chip right there is melted enough, and there's cream cheese up in there. And I was hungry and don't want cheese, like just plain cheese. Don't want to eat any sandwich meat. Um, so this is what I'm eating. <laughs> 